What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today I'm here to review the Prime Studios one third scale museum masterline Joker, Joker, the bonus version. The Prime Studios pieces, they're always a mouthful, so it's so hard to get in the introduction every single time. But no matter what, we're gonna get through this review today, and I'm super excited to bring this one to you guys because this is a piece that I have been anticipating for quite some time. And honestly, that's probably over-exaggeration because I say quite some time, this piece was not announced that long ago and it released like really quickly. I was actually shocked when Prime One emailed all of us that had pre-ordered and said, hey, this thing's shipping out in like less than a month. So. I'm still shocked that it's here in my door and here in my setup in my collection today, but nonetheless, I'm going to go over everything about this piece and go over it in some uh, serious detail here to go over whether this is for you, what you can expect if you already pre-ordered it. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get this thing out of the box and take a look at everything he comes with. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you guys. I love Justin's collection, so I'm not throwing any shade, but seriously, let's take a look at what it comes with. All right, so you guys are now taking a look at the accessories, and obviously, it is a lot. This is one of the most accessorized, not sure if that's a word, but we're going to go with it, accessorized pieces, statues rather, that I've ever received. This guy comes with so much. This guy comes with a mask, a rat, a joke book, a cigarette, a picture of Thomas and Martha Wayne, actually, a picture of his mom, Joker's mom, uh, a bag, <laughs> I guess, I'm not sure if it was the grocery bag, some other bag, oh yeah, the bag he used for like his clown stuff, yeah, that that's what that was. Um, a broken sign, which is a very important part of the film in the early stages, the flowers, a revolver, a his uh, card that he gives to people when he's laughing uncontrollably, you know, the sign that says, don't smile, and like I said, the swappable hands. Guys, that's a lot of accessories. So this piece is very easy to accessorize and put however you want, honestly, because the base, you can place these wherever you want upon the base. I put them in a very particular way when I film this video, but you can change it a million different ways. You can put the rat up front, you can put the rat in the back. There's a million ways you could, you know, design this piece here. I think that's really cool. I've actually included some video with just him on the stairs as well to show you what it looks like with just him naturally on the stairs without the accessories spread all over the place. So you have options. You don't have to use accessories and I kind of like that, you know, you have a lot of flexibility here in how you approach this. It doesn't have to be a situation where, um, you know, all the pieces are automatically on the base and you have no choice. You get the option. You could have none on the base, some on the base, or all of them. And it's really, really cool, actually. So, yeah, the accessories on this piece look really, really good. Everything is super detailed. Everything is exactly as you would think it would be for a $1,300 piece. And it's up to the par, the standard of what Prime One usually delivers. This is an incredible piece, guys. I don't mean to spoil too much early in the review, but I'm very, very happy with this one. And this is one, honestly, that I'm, like, is one of my favorite statues in my collection already. I've only had this guy for, like, a day or two, and I'm already, like, loving him. I keep going back to the collection room to look at him because I love the pose. I love the sculpt. Everything about it is really, really great. And I'm super happy with how everything turned out. So what people are really going to want to know the most is, is the sculpt good? Is the sculpt as good as the prototype? Is it as good as the prototype? Slightly not as good as the prototype, but it's very, very close. It really just depends on the lighting. And like I said, I'm trying to light this the best I can for you guys, you know, Prime One lights theirs a little bit differently than maybe this review and other reviews you'll see. So it really is gonna be contingent upon the lighting. But what I can say is in person, this sculpt looks incredible. So I think, you know, it, it looks really, really good. The teeth look super detailed. The eyes have a lot of life to them. The hair is sculpted, but looks really, really great. If it were rooted, that would actually be pretty cool. I think that would add a little more lifelike, um, you know, quality to the piece. But overall, it looks super realistic. This guy looks like incredible on the shelf. And I think the sculpt really nails the Joaquin Phoenix. Do I think it's 100%? No, I think it's like probably 90% sculpt. I think the sculpt is really, really good, but it's not quite perfect. They're just, there's some little soft, uh, soft nature elements to his face, I think. But overall, it really does look like him. And I think they nailed it overall. And this is definitely a piece worth picking up. Um, and not just about the sculpt. There's so much about it that's great. The tailoring is really, really cool. This is a basically a, a suit with a vest. It has a dress shirt as well in there. You don't have to dress him, which is really, really great because sometimes Prime One sends you pieces that you do have to dress. For example, I dressed my Pennywise. It was not fun. This guy came completely dressed with the sculpt on the piece entirety, in its entirety. They came um, as one dress piece, and I love that Prime One. Thank you so much. Please keep doing that and stop shipping things that are not dressed because it is a pain, and we'd love for you to do our work for us. So... For all the lazy collectors out there, we really appreciate it this time. So yeah, this looks really, really great. He has like a little bit of a of a thrust to him because he is in a dancing pose. So he's kind of like having like a Michael Jackson, like pelvic thrust moment. But yeah, it looks really, really great. And then honestly, it fits the tone of the scene. This is a very specific pose, a very specific scene, and it fits that very closely. So 
What you have here is you actually have uh, his right foot pegs into the base. His left foot is actually, it's not movable because once he's pegged in, he's pretty stationary, but he does not peg in on both feet, just the one. So that is something to note here, but he's for the most part, pretty stable. He's not, he will wobble a little bit here and there. He's not completely locked in and not moving at all. So you just gotta be careful when moving him around, but when he's in a stationary spot, he's not moving. So it's just a matter of like, when you move him around, just be careful moving him, be careful not to twist anything or turn anything, you know, uh, in a way that would break something. So the hands are swappable. The hands actually, uh, there's two sets of pair, pairs of hands and you can see the seams if you're looking for at, at the right angle. So. I would, I honestly would trade that out if I could and say, hey, don't give me swappable hands, just give me one set of hands. I don't think you need both. I don't think there's enough enough of a discrepancy between the two sets of hands to really justify the existence of doing such a thing. But really, if you have them in the right spot, you're not gonna see the seams. It's just a matter of like when I'm spinning him around on a rotating turntable, that you are gonna see those things when you're looking at the right angle. But honestly, it's not a deal breaker to me. I don't feel like it's the end of the world. Some people might think it's, it is, but like I said, if you put him in the right pose, the sleeves are long enough, they're co they'll uh, cover the seams, it's not a big deal. I like both sets of hands. I don't really have a preference one way or the other. I've kind of grown to like the more aggressive hand style, I guess you could call it that. So, but I like both, honestly. I think you go, you can't go wrong with either. He does pretty much both in, in the, the scenes in the film, in that scene in the film. So it's really not the end of the world. But yeah, there's so much detail with this piece. It's actually a limited edition piece. So it is 2,600 of them. The number is actually on the bottom of the base. Mine's actually number 101. So I got a very low uh, number there, which is really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, it's it's great that this is a limited edition piece. I think this is one that is gonna sell out relatively quickly for the most part. I don't know if it's gonna be like tomorrow, but this is one that's gonna be sought after because I don't see another Joaquin Phoenix piece coming anytime soon. So I think this is our one chance to get a legitimate licensed, great Joaquin Phoenix Joker piece that is at a level that we deserve. Because, you know, I've had some pieces like unlicensed, like the Toys Era, I believe it was Toys Era joke, and I got it, it was okay. It's just not, it's not that good. This is an amazing piece that is far, far superior and licensed, so I'm all about that. So um, yeah, other than that, you know, the tailoring looks really good. It's actually, uh, there's wire actually in the suit. So in the bottom of the suit rather, so like near the flaps. So you can actually pose it however you'd like, uh, you know, as you're doing, you know, getting him in his dancing pose. So yeah, there's a lot of different options there. And like I said, the base is very customizable. You can put the, the accessories in any sort of setup that you wish. And I really, really, really like that because they give you a lot of flexibility in how you design. Um, they give you artistic freedom, so to speak, and how you design this pose for the Joker. But overall, yeah, this piece is really, really great. I think accessories are awesome. I think that the sculpt is very, very good. It's not perfect, but it's very, very good. I think it's very much satisfying. And the tailoring is really, really great. I think this is a very dynamic um, pose that we have here from a very iconic scene. And I think it is awesome. I mean, the Queen Studios Joker that uh, they're making of Joaquin is also gonna be really great. So you're gonna have options. But for me, I don't feel like I need two. I don't feel like I need the other one. And I really like this pose a little bit better, honestly, cause it's so dynamic and such an attention grabber. This is one that in your collection, I think is gonna grab a lot of people's focus when they walk by it. So, and especially when they see the rat and all the other accessories, just gonna be really, really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna give this piece a 9.5 out of 10 because I think it's really great, like I said, it's not perfect. There are a couple little things here and there. Like I said, the little bit of instability on the, like getting the statue in place if you move him around a little bit. But like I said, if he's stationary, it's totally fine. He's not gonna move. He is locked in. But if you move him around, I don't love that as much. And uh, the hands thing, I'm not, you know, it's a small little nitpick, so here and there. And the sculpt is still really, really great. It looks fantastic. It's not perfect. So I'm gonna give this piece a 9.5 out of 10. And I'm gonna say, yeah, you gotta get, this is a must buy in my opinion. This is a statue that is definitely gonna sell, like I said, and when it does, if you love the film uh, Joker and you love Joaquin Phoenix's performance, which I definitely did, it's Oscar worthy for a reason, then this is a piece you're definitely gonna want and you're gonna regret it if you don't get it. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'll say. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever you want to bring to the comments below, go ahead uh, and I'll discuss it with you guys and uh, we'll talk about it there. So other than that, this is Wolf Oxification signing off and I will see you in the next one.